I really value a relationship in which sometimes I just get fucking owned. <laughs> right? Not all the time. But sometimes you gotta, you know, it really makes me respect you a lot and love you a lot. What are some critical red flags in which you should just get out ASAP? I think there's a, there's a carry analogy to be had here. Mm. Um, She's learning. I am slowly. You should play more law. You learn how to carry better. <laughs> I carry plenty, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think there's obviously like fear, safety, like. That stuff, red flag, I think those are more kind of explicit. I just really appreciate how witty you are. And it, what are some red flags you think? I just wanted to, I, I, I got to comment on this. Sure. So I really value a relationship in which sometimes I just get fucking owned. <laughs> right? Not all the time, but sometimes you got to. You know, it, it really makes me respect you a lot and love you a lot. Because yeah. not many people can own me. I didn't. You did, though. It, yeah, no, I mean, I, it's all in good fun. But okay. Sometimes you got, you know, you got, you, look, let me put it this way. I really enjoy being in a relationship with someone that's on your level, right? Like, you can't just be winning all the time. Like, that's not a relationship. It's like you being a parent. You gotta. That's sweet. You, know, you gotta be, you gotta fight with people in your weight class. Um, anyway, the analogy falls apart. <laughs> what was the question again? Oh, what are red the flags. red flags? So I, I think a couple of things. One is that, um, so a couple of red flags. So I don't really like the idea of, I mean, there's certainly red flags, but I don't like the idea of red flags because it kind of goes back to this like internet. If this, if they do this, then break up with them right away. I mean, obviously like there are some things that fall into that. So, you know, the blatant ones are things like, abusive behavior right like if they you know if they hit you there's no if excuse for anything if they yell at the waiter yeah so i think that's one like so so a couple of things i'd say not really red flags but you know be careful about relationships that you invest a lot in and the other person does not invest a lot in like so be careful about like lopsided investment um be careful about uh, you know, if you want to, this isn't really like on first date kind of stuff, but, you know, be careful about people who don't put you ahead of themselves. So I think a relationship works best when you have two people and like, so relationships aren't 50, 50, they're 60, 40, and you give 60 and you take 40 and they give 60 and they take 40. And that's really like when a relationship works well in terms of red flags. I, I do agree. I think, you you know, be careful about people that are just assholes to people that they don't need to be nice to. Yes. Um, so I, I agree. Do when they think nobody's watching them or when what there's yeah. no consequences to. Ultimately, you want a nice person. Red flags is if they're not a nice person. Sorry? Right. Like, I, I mean, I, I guess there are going to be other, you know, there are other... Yeah. I, I mean, I tend to view people as not static. So, like, I don't like the idea of you know, if someone does X, Y, Z, just peace out because you're fucking done. You know, I think even if someone is socially anxious or has an addiction problem or is a convicted felon, like, I don't think that those people are, like, bad. Do you think nice guys finish last? So this is opening a whole can of worms about, like, red pill, incel, nice guy, white knight, internet stuff. Um, the short answer... is let me think about how to phrase this so that I can't get clipped out of context um so I think I think that they do finish last but I think the reason they finish last is because they think they're nice guys I don't think good guys finish last I think nice guys finish last and there's a big difference between being nice and being good just think about that for a second 
right? Like what's the difference between being nice? Do I think good guys finish last? Absolutely not. Do I think nice guys finish last? I fucking hope so. Right? Because I don't want someone, I don't want to be in a relationship with someone who's nice. I want to be in a relationship with someone who's good. And if they're nice on top of that, that's fine. But nice should not be a substitute for being good. And I think the biggest problem with the idea of like nice guys, like I'm a nice guy, is that they're nice, but they're not good. They play nice because nice is the front that you present. It's not what's in here. I don't think good guys finish last. Uh, last. But I think if all you are is nice, I hope you finish last. Be good. And be nice. I like this a lot. 